Hey guys, welcome to Turnip Tech. Today we've got a first look at the Ubuntu Edge. Now a lot of people may not know what the Ubuntu Edge is. It's basically a smartphone that allows you to boot either Android or Ubuntu Mobile OS. But that's not all. When you plug it into a monitor, it becomes a full desktop PC. That's right, a full desktop PC running Ubuntu. And here it is, Ubuntu Edge. If you want to get this, you'll have to visit the Indiegogo page and you'll have to pledge $695. But this phone is supposed to revolutionize the market. As you'll see here, Ubuntu Mobile OS actually won Best of Show at MWC 2013 by CNET. In their video introducing the hardware, Canonical, which is the company that is developing this phone, showed us a bit more of what's to come with the Ubuntu Edge. Since the Ubuntu vision of convergence for the phone and the PC will push the limits of mobile computing, and since we're working with industry already, and since millions of you are passionate about the latest and greatest phone technology, software and hardware, we're in a perfect position together to change the way innovation comes to the mobile industry. So, we've explored every aspect of the phone, spoken to companies that have interesting next generation technologies, and drawn up the blueprints for a concept device that brings together the most exciting innovations that are real, but still on the horizon. We call it the Ubuntu Edge. Beautiful, inside and out. The body will be crafted from a single piece of textured metal, making it really solid in your hand. It will have precisely chamfered edges for the optimal grip and perfect control of the edge gestures that are central to the Ubuntu mobile experience. The display is the window into your content. So as you can see, this phone looks amazing. It will have a 4.5 inch screen which will mostly focus on color balance, dynamic range, and color accuracy. Now the display will only be 720p, but it will be protected by sapphire crystal glass, which means you would have to have diamonds in your pocket to scratch it. Now if we take a look at the camera, you'll see that it will be optimized for low light and it will have a very fast response time. If you're like us, you travel a lot and you love bandwidth. Today's phones fall back to slower, older protocols when they roam, but future phones would have access to LTE everywhere. So we'll raise the bar with dual LTE antennas for full speed 4G in both Europe and the USA. Now like they said, this is great for anybody who travels a lot because dual LTE antennas means much faster internet and just faster all around experience on the phone. Now this here is probably the reason why most of the people are funding this project. Look at this. It will have 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. If we look at other phones on the market, you'll see the iPhone 5 has just 1 gigabyte of RAM. The Galaxy S4 has 2. Internal storage, the iPhone 5 has 64 gigabytes, while the Samsung Galaxy S4 has just 16 gigs. One of the key areas of innovation today is the battery. We've selected silicon anode technology as the most promising candidate for extended life and power density. This project is all about cutting edge hardware, but being Ubuntu, we can push the limits on software too. As well as Ubuntu, you'll be able to boot Android. So you can keep using your existing app collection and experience full convergence right away with Ubuntu for Android. If this project sounds interesting to you, visit their Indiegogo page, click the link below and you can help fund them and if you give them $695 you can get your very own Ubuntu Edge. Canonical has set a goal of 32 million dollars but with just four days remaining they are only at about 11 million so if you want to help them reach that goal of 32 million in the next four days you can go ahead and donate some money to them and yeah.